What's up, y'all? I have not been here in a while, but, you know, I am back today. And, you know, it's been a lot that's been going on. I'm not going to lie. I always felt like I should just kind of stay away from the drama. But it's it's a lot of things that are happening. And sometimes we're like, do you, do you want to, you know, chime in and give it your little two cents sometimes? I mean, it's not bad to chime in if it's something that you feel like it, it, it can impact your life. But let me tell you guys, it's a lot of things that are going on. Listen, what do you guys think about, you know, what do you guys think about this? this there's a trend that's going on right now that... Um, the, you know, the short five, seven, five, six African American, mostly, mostly African American, uh, uh, guys, they are actually going overseas to Turkey to get their tibia surgery, to elongate their, 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 their tibia. And then you want to get this surgery that might get yourself amputated. It happens. It happens. This is something that we, this is the, the world we live in. You know, listen, I've lived in Africa. I'm an African. And like, since moving, like, I've never seen people so insecure. Like, in America, people are so insecure about everything. Like, everything. People are insecure about how they look. People are. I don't want to get into details of that because I might also be wrong because I feel like it's no, it's, it's more like no kind of judgment zone. The only thing that they are like maybe that they might judge you on is maybe your weight or you're too heavy or you're too skinny. You know, it's not like when you come from Africa, I mean, people, I don't think people will, you know, it's a lot of us. We are actually, Af as Africans, we have this, you know, unique features. Like, you know what I'm saying? The way we talk, the way we carry ourselves, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? And it's just normal how we see ourselves than when we come here and people see us differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will never... But the thing is, one of the, one of the, um, one of the guys that actually did the surgery was from, I think he's from Ghana, and he spent almost three hundred sixty thousand dollars to get the surgery, you know. Um, but the thing is, he did it in the U.S. He did not do it in no. Did he do it in the U.S.? I don't think it's approved here. Um, I don't think it's approved here. It's it's legal to do here in the U.S. I might be wrong, but I think he did it here, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe he did it in Turkey, and he he's doing the um the checkups here. I might be wrong, but people are actually doing that. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. Like, imagine I am 5'7", and then all of a sudden, the next day, I wake up, I'm six feet. Come on, let me get that surgery. <laughs> let me get that surgery. Let me get the surgery. I, 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 I want it. I want it. I, 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 want, I was going to share the video, but I feel like, you know, I might not have to share it because it might be, um, it might it might get me flagged. It might get me flagged. But I don't know what you guys feel about that. Also, um, this week, what have we seen again this week? I mean, we've seen a lot of things happening this week, guys. It's It's been a lot. You know, the fashion week. But um, I wanted to get into this. Um, I wanted to get into this, you know, I know that some of y'all, I mean, uh, people that actually follow me here already, you know, guys watch love and hip-hop even though even if you don't watch love and hip-hop but you probably know who erica mena is and you probably know who spice is okay so spice is a well-known um um dance hall jamaican artist that she moved here in the u.s i don't know a couple of years ago and then she stays in atlanta and you guys already know who she is right and then you know who erica mena is i mean erica mena like you know who she is. She dated Bow Wow. She dated a lot of people. She's been under a lot, a lot, a lot of fire this week. So, the recent episode of Love and Hip Hop, the one before this, um, the one before this, Erica Mena had a little bit of a um, a little bit of argument with this argument, I would say, 
with our spies, you know, and th- and and to be honest, this actually started with our uh, safari. You know, I don't understand why these two black women are tearing each other because of safari. When you think about it, you know, I'm saying someone might say, "Why are you saying two black women?" Okay, well, the, most of Dominican they don't feel like that. Most of Dominican people don't feel like they are black, even though they are black. I mean, when we look at them, we look at them as black people, but they don't want to be categorized like that. They don't want to be called black. They don't want to be called by the race. You know, they want to, like, they, then that's how they are. I mean, it is what it is, if that's what they want. But Erica Mena, even though she is Dominican and Puerto Rican, she prefers, she is Dominican, she's black and Dominican, and she has always called herself black and Dominican. So, I don't know, maybe it's something that we, as the people, we have to maybe get used to it and know that this is, you know, we gotta we gotta roll with it. But when you think about this situation that happened a couple of weeks ago with hair and spice, I was confused. Like, I, I was really confused. And the only thing that was actually getting me confused was, okay, let me put the Puerto Rican, let me put the Puerto Rican and the Costa Rican thing aside, okay? When you look at Erica Mena, what do you see? If you don't know that she is Puerto Rican, you might think that she's probably mixed black and white, okay? And of course, she is mixed because she has black sisters that are definitely darker than her. She has black children. But here's the thing. People don't understand that it's a lot of people that are actually racist that will play that racial card thing, and then they would always say, well, I have a black friend, or my children are black. But that does not exempt you from being racist. You can be, you can have black friends, you can have black family members, but it does not erase the fact that you are racist. When you are racist, it's something that roots within your heart. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you probably have to work on yourself, and it's okay as long as you work on yourself. You know, with her... It was just kind of confusing because she doesn't take full responsibility. At first, she kind of like takes responsibility because I was looking at the um the recent um the recent episode that just played last week. You know, she was being very remorseful. She apologized publicly about that. She felt horrible, but then again, she went and met with Yandy. So you go and meet up with Yandy, and then when Yandy tries to talk to you about this thing. You're going to tell Yendi that, you know, if anybody comes for your child, you will do whatever it takes to break their soul. Like, you will do whatever it takes. You said you will do it again. And Yendi asked you, like, so what do you mean? Do you mean that you will do it again? You Do you understand that you are, you know, you are disrespecting any person that's of an African descendant, and he's like, listen, she's sticking to what she's saying. She said what she said. She meant what she said, and it is up to that. I mean, you could see she's having a good life. She's having a good life. Even though she got canceled, she got fired from the the show that she was just shooting in D.C. She just got fired from Love and Hip Hop as well. A couple of shows, she lost a couple of deals from, from <clears throat> from other networks. However... You know, she's still pushing. She's still pushing. She's still making money, but she's she's not apologizing for calling uh, Spice that. But here is what the other people are saying. A lot of black community, they're actually behind her. A lot of black community, they're supporting her because they realize that Spice is unhinged this season. Like, this whole Love and Hip Hop, this whole, I don't know how many episodes they've played so far, Spice is unhinged. She's perceived as the most bullying, the bully one, it's like, I mean, I, I agree. I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of agree with them at some point. I feel like she's just doing too much. She's doing too much. I don't know. And the fact that sometimes this love and hip-hop thing is so scripted, it's just, it's. I, I, sometimes I don't believe these things that they say. You know what I'm saying? The Amara La Negra had mentioned that, you know, she had to do what she had to do. The fake relationship that she had with Safari. Can you imagine the whole fake relationship she had with Safari? She confessed. She said that that was not real. That was for the books. So what else can you believe from these people? But the monkey, the blue monkey comments were real, though. 
The blue monkey comments were real. That was real. And a lot of people were mad at Mona for not firing um for not firing her right there. But Mona said that she's not involved with Love and Hip Hop no more. You know, even though that's her franchise, but she's not always, she does not even know what's going on. She's, she watches the live and hip hop, hip hop on Monday or Tuesday with everybody. You know, she's not involved with editing team. She's not involved with approving anything that's go, that goes out to the media. Even though she holds the brand. Like, she cannot call sign everything that they do. We understand. But how do you guys feel about the whole... Uh, spice thing like i don't know i don't know i feel like spice is just too much to be honest spice is spice is a lot and um i'm not saying that erica was right for calling spice a monkey um erica was wrong for that i mean it shouldn't be the first thing that comes in your mind if some if somebody do you bad you know if if you have a problem with somebody and you are angry at them, and the first thing that you're going to open your mouth is the racial slay. You call them a you call them this, you call them that, especially a black person that you never called them that before. It's just like, that's, that's, that's the real you. That's the, it shouldn't be the first thing that comes in your mind if you're trying to fight someone. It shouldn't be. Because if it is, that means this is the kind of person that you are. And if this is the kind of person that you choose to be, that's fine. But you have to deal with the consequences. It is what it is. But the, I felt I felt like it was hilarious. But Spice is too much. She's doing too much. I mean, you cannot mention Erica's kids when you already know Erica is very defensive. Everybody like and don't do you do that with my kids. I would probably act the same way. But I'm not gonna. It's just insane. That's not gonna be the first thing that comes in my mouth if I'm trying to fight you. No. Because that's not the kind of person that I am. You know what I'm saying? But. But Spice got another thing coming. You messed with the wrong one. Yeah, I, I just wanted to talk about that as well. Because, you know, I felt like it was a lot. It was a lot going on. One thing that I also wanted to catch up with. I don't know what you guys are watching right now. Are you guys watching anything right now um, on Netflix? Are you guys watching anything? It's a couple of shows that are coming out from South Africa right now. They uh, they just started, sh they're going to, no, I think this week they started shooting season three of Young Famous and African. Um, they, yeah, I think they are starting this week, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is this season three? Season three. Um, they have started, I think they are starting this week to shoot season two. We, season three. So we might be seeing season three in the next hopefully next six months that'll be great um and also there's a show there's a new show also as well a uh, south african show if you guys are into uh, that i i just didn't like it i was i watched a couple of one two episodes and i i, I just didn't like it the, honestly the, the reason why i watched it is because it's it's it was um it was taped in Cramstown, and Cramstown is actually one of my favorite city even though it's the most racist city in South Africa, but it's really beautiful. It's so quiet. People there are really nice, you know. Um, the, the the university, the bars, the bars, the life of the bars. It's it's amazing. It's beautiful there, you know. That's why that the scenery. That's the only thing that honestly that I'm watching. It's called Miss Education. It's on Netflix right now. It just came out this. I might be wrong. I think it just came out this week. Um, they have La Cisre there. They had a couple of... La Cisre was playing La Cisre. They had um, a couple of celebrities that you might be familiar with. But, um, yeah, you can watch that as well. Um, I don't know what else is coming out in South Africa right now. Nothing, really. Nothing major, right? I don't think nothing... I don't think there's really nothing going on right now that... We should be aware of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to come in here and, you know, and chime in. I have I haven't been here in a while. My podcast has been like really, really, uh, quiet. Um, so 
yeah. Um, hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. I might, I might be coming back again next week with another episode. Hopefully. If everything goes well, I might come back again with another episode. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. If, I, if I'm not feeling sick because I'm sick as a dog right now, even though I'm here, I tell you I'm sick as a dog right now. You won't believe it. But be cool. I'll go vote and also happy independence to Botswana. Botswana is celebrating the independence this week. And my country too, Lesotho, is celebrating the independence as well. Um, so, wait. Lesotho's independence? It's, it's embarrassing that I don't know. It's, it's October. It's October. October? Lesotho. Independence Day. It's in October. It's in October 4, yes. October 4, that's next week. It's on October 4. Um, October 4, and then Botswana's independence is today, yes. Botswana's independence is today, and Lesotho's independence is in four, is in four days, October 4th, okay? Happy independence, Botswana. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to come in and chime in about. Make sure you follow the podcast, and also you, um... Yeah, follow the podcast, you know. We're here. We're here. All right. So yeah, I'll see you guys with another episode. Hopefully next week I'll come up I'll come back with another episode. All right, peace out.